Hey guys, how you doing? Welcome back. Hope you're having an absolutely incredibly fantastic day. The question for you this morning is, how did he achieve a result like this? Well, let's find out. BG Warrior 49 from the Enjoy Clan, shout out to you guys, is going to show us. BG. BG Warrior, I've got one question for you. You could have been 69, but you chose 49. Maybe he's 49 years old. Who knows? Who knows? But uh, I've got incredible feature for you today. Two, not one, two amazing games. And you guys get to decide who is more deserving of this epic result. BG Warrior is number one. In his Russian object 430u just a, an amazing uh incredible tank he's very worried about the t124 that's not participating in the battle and he drove into a rock <laughs> he's a micromanager snapper it wasn't quite a snapper but i like to say snapper he got that guy for 404 as he was crossing. What was that Type 61 trying to accomplish? He's trying to get into a cheeky position right over here so that he can be a nuisance. And it is. There he is. Are you going to be a nuisance? No. You're going to take 470 more damage and bounce. <laughs> Type 61, you picked the wrong tank to mess with. I'm sorry. Um, you have no armor. Um, you're you're shooting a basically heavy tank armor and uh oh but he's running away he succeeded the type 61 made him retreat he's retreating because the 113 is coming on the high ground and is gonna well the one the 113 doesn't have a lot of uh, gun depression but he's gonna well, duh, 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 duh. he got behind the rock escape it unscathed good move very good map awareness he realized that he would have been in a terrible crossfire there and that Type 61, I guess, is happy that the 113 came to help. But the Object 430U retreats and is ready to fight again. Takes a snapshot, a blind snapshot, a snap blind shot? Is it a blind snapshot or a snap blind shot? Oh, there's a lot of enemies. Daddy, we found them. And the T124 is now arrived, as you can see. But this guy aims his gun and boom. Plants another 450. I gotta get this tank. Yeah. I learned uh, when that Object 780 uh, came out, the one that everyone had to buy for 100 million credits equivalent. And in the uh, uh, the promotion video that Wargaming did, they, they said that it was the first versatile heavy tank um, available in this game. The first versatile Soviet heavy tank available in the game. Um, well, I guess that excludes the Object 430U because it's not a heavy tank. <laughs> Maybe this is the first versatile Soviet medium tank. Well, that's probably not out yet. That's probably going to be for sale uh, in a couple of months for another 200 million credits. I'll say it's the first versatile <laughs> Soviet medium tank. That made me laugh. That made me laugh. It's the first versatile Soviet heavy tank. You should spend 100 million credits on it. And you know what? People did. And you know, it's so versatile now that uh, you don't see them anymore. <laughs> it was versatile for the first four or five days when everyone, you know, after you spend 100 million credits, you're going to want to try and play it. And a lot of people tried to play it and they thought, yeah, that, uh, that was pretty versatile. I don't think I'm going to play it anymore. And now when you play the game and you get a tier 10 battle, how many Object 780s do you see? It's because they're so versatile. They're so versatile that you don't really need to play them. Okay, let's get back to this game. What is it about? There's a common theme in this video. Uh, the common theme is the featured players do not really have teams. Uh, they're basically playing by themselves. And uh, they start losing. And as you can see, the score is 0-5. And they're down by 5,000 HP because, you know, that... That's how War, War of the Tanks works. Uh, you just you just snowball to victory or snowball to defeat. And something very rare happens. This is rare. 
these days. It used to be, I wouldn't say common, but less rare. In, uh, in the old days, when a person's input into the game mattered more than it does now. Skill was more important back in the old days, and a really good player, even if he was down near the end, could somehow try and, and, and win. And it, what happened occasionally was that one player standing alone versus against all odds, perhaps standing alone against five uh, remaining enemies, could still try and win. This does not happen very often uh, uh, these days because it's just... Because everything, everything's uh, stronger and faster and more firepower and more DPM. And when you're fighting five or six enemies, they all have higher DPM than they did in the old days. You do too, but it's five, five of them. They can whittle down your HP much faster than, say, eight years ago. So standing alone versus multiple enemies is harder now because it takes them a lot less to chew through your, uh, your HP. Uh, all the tanks shoot faster, all the tanks drive faster, all the tanks have higher alpha, all the tanks have field mods and purple equipment and uh, yada yada yada. So it's harder, but it can be done. And we're going to watch this now. Stop it right here. And what do you see? You see one guy, one guy left, BG Warrior 49 versus six. Let's watch it. He's versus six. There's a Grillet that's aiming, aiming, aiming. Oh, the Grillet. Ooh, the Grillet. 748. Ay, ay, ay. Boom. Oh, snap that in there. No problem. Oh, he bounced the shot from these 75. And he's got a couple of dead Muppets now that he can hide behind. Ooh, the Grillet. Bounce it. And these guys are showing their tanks and their track wheels because they're Muppets. And he bounced another shot. He's in a perfect situation here where he has... His teammates are now finally helping him. Look. His teammates are assisting him. This dead Muppet is protecting him from the guy across the rails. And the other dead Muppet is protecting him from these guys. So take the shot. Easily hit the Coppola. Because you've got the high alpha gun that's less accurate than the other uh, Russian medium tanks. You have Pixel Yuri. Is that Pixel? Yes, there is Pixel Yuri. He's doing it all right. He's playing it the Russian way. And he's got the two dead Muppets. No one wants to come behind them because they're all Muppets. Uh, I'm trying to follow on what's going on. Is anyone going to come and try and drive behind him? That would be kind of the natural thing to do. Drive behind him, but... Oh, can he, 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 he shoots him. Oh, boy. He gets rammed by a Tiger 2 and uh, sustains zero damage because the Tiger 2 is too small to ram a medium tank. He shoots another shot into the Tiger 2, and now the Tiger 2 is blocking his teammates from shooting him because he's a Muppet, and he can just kill the Tiger 2. And now he has another dead Muppet that's going to provide some cover for him. This Muppet on the enemy team just bounced because he's still staying way back there like an idiot. And the Grillet is ready to die. Gatov. And now he must reset. So he'll take one in the side so that he can reset easily like this. The E75 has the small gun because why wouldn't he? Why wouldn't he have the small gun? The E75 now can surely kill him just from shooting him in the back. Uh, or this guy can shoot him in the side. But they both bounce because this is a Russian tank. And this game was designed by Russians. So he takes out this TD and now uses this dead TD as another Muppet to provide cover for him. And the E75 with the small PP gun is uh, floundering there like a Muppet. Realizing, maybe I should have driven behind him. Why didn't I drift behind him? Oh well, I guess I'll just lose now. Only stolen. Did you notice that throughout that whole flurry, that amazing play-by-play -play commentary that you just witnessed, during that whole encounter, not one, not one um, artillery shell landed. There's a GW Tiger on the enemy team. Not one shell splashed or landed near him. Because the GW Tiger is late for work. He's a chef. He is the Swedish chef, and he had to go. In the beginning, in the morning, in the finishing, in the game, and then they're going in, doing it, they're flipping in, and making the salad. In the work, work. And uh, he's um. He probably thought, well, we're winning by um. We're winning by six tanks. I'll just go get a sandwich. <sighs> yeah, 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 yeah. 
let's just call it a victory. So that's how you end up with Radley Walters, Kolobanov's Defender, Tank Sniper, High Caliber, Steel Wall, and Top Gun. You do 11,441 damage, 8 kills, and uh, you lose credit. Do we have a challenger? Do we have a challenger? Yes, we do. We have Betoniara Esport from the Chen Z clan in his KPZ 50T, the German super powerful tier 9 medium tank. It's medium tank versus medium tank, guys. Show us how to do it there, buddy. Can he... Can he top that performance? It's up to you guys to decide. Leave comments in the comment section. I want to. I want. I want to know what you guys thought of that uh, first game. That was an incredible uh, come from behind victory, one versus six. Fantastic uh, map sense. Fantastic game awareness. Knowledge of the angles. Covering himself. Knowing how long the the. Uh, uh, the patience he had to not just go and try and reset and, and make himself a target when multiple tanks were shooting at him. He took out everyone until he realized, I have to go reset. He did it all perfectly, guys. He deserved that win. And he fought like a boss. But now let's see if uh, Betoniara can do the same. It's going to be a similar uh, start. Oh, someone's crossing. Boom, he gets paid. Or shot in the side. He's, go he's going aggressive. He's not ho holding back. This is very risky. But he is top tier. There's only two tier 9s. And there's a lot of tier 8s. So I guess he's decided I'm going for it. I'm going to be aggressive. When these enemies come. I can just churn through them easily. And they are not expecting to see an enemy on their ridge line. Hey what's he doing on our ridge line? <laughs> he's supposed to be on his ridge line. Why is he on our ridge line? <laughs> He's a ridge line warrior and he went to the other ridge line. And now these guys are just pinned. This is a beautiful. He, he, he took a chance, made the aggressive play, and it's just. Uh, his mistake there was shooting a Russian tank. But he took a chance, he made a super aggressive play, and he's. Um, He's being rewarded for it. Now he's got this Muppet in his way, which is, well, that's okay. You can deal with the Muppet. This Comet doesn't even know. These guys have no idea what's going on. They're thinking, how come, how come our team didn't take our ridge line? I thought that was our ridge line. <laughs> Der ging nicht durch. And now the Muppet with you, the TD, is gonna, is gonna pay for his tool. Oh, look at it. He's got two big targets there. Two O'Nees. Oh boy. I mean, can he take out this? Uh, get out of the way, Muppet. There, he's got another shot on him. He's just churning. He's up to 2,500 damage. He's churning through these guys like the low tier. Just... Don't he... He took a... The, the guy's gun wasn't even around the rock. He didn't even have a pixel to shoot at. And somehow the Russian gun shot through the rock. The gun is in the middle of that tank. He doesn't have a turret. He didn't even have a a piece of that TD to shoot and some of the TD shot him what does it how who what how is that possible okay guys now I, I'm watching this replay and I'm thinking it's impossible that he could be losing this game because he's chewing through these guys as fast as his uh, ammunition and, and reload speed allows like there's just shoot yeah he's He's just chewing through them, but okay, and, and they're just making themselves targets. They, they, just <laughs> they want more, and every time he reloads his gun, he just is able to shoot. Yep, there goes side scraping tiger. Tiger can't side scrape. A tiger can only side scrape versus tier uh, uh, sixes, and maybe some tier sevens. And he's just churning through these guys. Let's just keep watching. Him. This is uh, this is fun to watch too. He's just this is basically seal clubbing, guys basically seal clubbing but remember in the previous game our hero was doing a lot of damage at the beginning as well this guy's up to over 5,000 damage the tiger has done nothing he's taken another hit from a, a Russian TD and what the Russian TD hit him for 510 he takes another shot on the tiger the tiger can't do anything why are you grinding the German heavy line just do yourself a favor and stop just stop and grind a different line. Okay, 
Progetto, say hello to the super accurate gun. Yeah, yeah. You know what? I, I think I might have picked the wrong replay here. Here he goes. The score is 9-9. Nine, 9-9. Nine. Nine, nine. How is it 9-9? Nine, nine? Progetto, say hello. Progetto takes one from this German beast. And uh, what are you doing down there, Progetto, anyway? <laughs> Probably that blind shot hit. He is up to 6,000 damage. And I'm looking at this replay thinking, maybe I've got the wrong one. The score is 9-9. 9 9, nine, nine, nine. And, it's a, and it's a German tank we're witnessing. What is going to go on here? He's just churning through them. It's beautiful. Another shot. On the, that's a blind shot on the Scorpion. Well, uh, blind because the guy just drove outside of maximum render range. And he disappeared. That one missed. And this must be when his team starts floundering. Can he take out the scorpion? No, the scorpion is behind. Mm, okay, where is he going? He's trying to uh, uh, create different angles here. There he goes. Now this is an encounter mode, so it takes a long time to cap. Four minutes, it looks like. His team is not going to cap. Oh, oh, there's somebody. Oh, look, an Udes. Hello. Boom. Der gang fighter hier Panzer rum. And now he's got two in the cap. I've obviously picked the wrong replay. Just wait, just wait, guys. This is World of Tanks. Anything can happen. Right? Anything can happen. And if you look at the score, it's 9-9, and they're, at, they're up by 700 HP. And they've got this tank on their team. They've got two Tier 9s still uh, alive. The enemies have a Skoda T-50. Where's the last known position of the Skoda T-50? You can see them down here. Where's he going to go? He's probably going back to reset. So this guy's coming around the corner. Hmm. Okay, uh, there's the Progetto. Alright, just a little lull in the battle here. There's his E-75 is driving aimlessly in that direction. What would you do in this? Just go... Ca I, it, if you were playing this game, you'd think 7,000 damage. We could just win the game, no problem. I've This is good enough. Maybe I should just go cap. Oh wait, one of his teammates was killed when he reset. There's a Super Hellcat. He accidentally shot his own player. Good thing that there's no more team damage. He wants to shoot the Super Hellcat instead. He takes a shot at the Super Hellcat. And another one of his teammates has died. And the Super, the super Hellcat has died. The score is 10-11. What a strange series of events here. Why did the Super Hellcat not shoot the E-75 in the rear? His E-75 has died. He put another shot into the SU-130 PM. Daddy, one of my teammates just exploded. The Skoda T-50 is going to try and reset the Scorpion now. And he's going to try a blind shot. That missed. The blind shot missed. Is the only playing the game? That blind shot missed. The Scorpion still has a lot of HP. They're still winning. This is going to be like a flurry. In the oh, there, what's that? That is the scorpion. He takes the... Oh. Speaking of Oni, the Oni is gone. The scorpion's been hit. Daddy, one of my teammates just exploded again. He's missed the scorpion. And now all of a sudden... The scorpion... The scorpion died. And an enemy died. But I think the scorpion died a split second... Oh, this is incredible. One of the enemies shot the scorpion, and then the scorpion returned fire. The shell hit the scorpion first, and when the scorpion died, it was technically one versus five. Then the scorpion was hit. No, the scorpion shot hit the enemy. So he's really only had to play one versus four, and then one versus three, and now it's one versus two, and now he's fighting a poor hapless little scorpion who is capping ah a lucky colo banoffs is what this is gonna be so i can already uh, sense in the comment section you guys are gonna say well the object the object 430u deserves our accolades for best performance i think but but this is a german tank so you have to factor that into it right are you really gonna vote for a guy driving a Russian tank? <laughs> Let's see.
Let's see how he handles the rest of this game. Where's the scorpion? Where's the scorpion? Where's the scorpion? Where's that scorpion? Where'd he go? Oh, you're not detected, so the scorpion's not in view there. There's an SU-130PM as well. If, the, if both the enemies shoot him once, he's dead. I'd say this is more of a one versus three. I guess what to be fair, one versus four. But he's tech, if he if he wins this because of a, just a split second timing, he's gonna end up uh, getting Kolobanov's medal. But uh, he is sure deserving of the damage he did at the beginning of the game, right? He he carried this at the beginning. I think the Object 430U carried it throughout. Ah, uh, this guy's... What am I saying? This guy's carried it throughout as well. Just not... It's it's not shaping up to be as an exciting a finish. But let's just... Oh, there's the scorpion. Poor scorpion. <laughs> what did you expect would happen? It takes four minutes to cap for crying out loud. Now, if I was driving the SU-130 PM, I'd go hide in a bush somewhere and try and get one cheeky shot. That's 500 damage. And then run like hell. Do not take a shot in return. Oh, but the scorpion is a muppet. And he shows up at the base. What are you doing? Oh, but he, did he shoot? HE? What happened? How did you only roll? How did you? Oh, 371. Yeah, I guess that's a normal roll. Yeah, what am I saying? What am I saying? And the scorpion bounced. I mean, the SU-130 PM. And the SU-130 PM is a muppet. Gignafeste schaust du ausgescheißt. Schaust du it's anticlimactic. Still a fantastic result for you. Kolobanovs, Radley Walters, and Top Gun. 9,613 damage, 8 kills. Leave some comments in the comment section, guys. Let me know. I want to hear it from you. Who had the most exciting game? Who was more deserving? I think I have to say the Object 430U uh, probably wins on this one, guys. But I'm interested in your comments. Subscribe to the channel if you're enjoying the videos. And I will catch you guys on the next one.